Greetings people. Yesterday I was on YouTube. I came across a video for one of our tunes from many many years ago and it had been on YouTube for over a year and it had only had 16 views and I did a post on Twitter about it saying that this was a tragedy. And one of our friends on Twitter came back and basically kind of said, oh, you know, just keep keep posting things. People will catch on eventually. Now, this morning, I remembered that I'd already done a new video for that same track um, quite recently, and it actually had a, a reasonable number of views by our standards. It was late last night. I had just forgotten I'd done so. But it did get me thinking about the cult of newness in the music industry. There is an obsession that music has to be new. So for example, you can't get onto a Spotify playlist. You can't even present a track unless it's new. Mainstream radio and things like that are very much obsessed with anything that is about all we gold. If it's older than that, it's gone. Paradoxically, on the other hand, Radio in particular is obsessed with things that are 30, 40 or 50 years old. It's either got to be really old and classic or it's got to be brand new and nothing in between. This got me thinking about our own copious back catalogue. We've been making music for 30 years plus and an awful lot of it has not been heard by a great many people. And yet we believe that our music is worth listening to and even something that was done two years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. It's good. Music doesn't stop being good just by being older. One of the great things about being into music over the years is that every so often I come across an artist that is new to me. Maybe I find them by accident, a great album or a great track. And then I find that actually they've been around for years and they might have 10 albums in their back catalogue to go and explore and that is a result amazing i love it when that happens so i would like to encourage those of you who've been listening to our recent music in the last couple of years to go back and dig into our back catalogue most of our previous releases are on bandcamp a lot of them are on spotify We've got a lot of videos for tracks on YouTube and recently, because we're having a lot of fun making videos, we've been going back to some of our older tracks and for the ones that we think deserve it, we're, we're putting videos on them if we haven't done videos before. So I'd like to invite you to explore our back catalogue. I'd also like to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel follow us on our other social media such as Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. In a lot of cases, the automated algorithms that run these sites will share our music with more people based on how many subscribers or followers we have. So hopefully while we are giving to you by producing new and interesting music or reminding you of old and interesting music, you are also helping us when you subscribe or follow or even leave comments. The algorithms pick up on that. So get to know us. We want to know what you think. We want to know what you like. We do want to know you, but you are also helping us by subscribing and following, etc. Thank you very much. And I will talk to you again soon.